Hey all, so if you haven't seen my last video from earlier this week, I recommend checking that out first since uh, these are deleted scenes and bloopers from that video. Uh, so I'm a writer at heart and that caused the original video to go through like several different rewrites. Uh, one even happened during the initial recording, actually. Uh, some lines I had to edit down either because they made the segment a little too long-winded or I felt they just didn't fit. I don't have every script edit on hand, but I have some that I can share. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the segment from the original video where they would have been. And I'm going to put up this alpha symbol so you have an idea of what the original part would have been like. Uh, pretty much anything else is either a blooper or an outtake. Alright, I hope you enjoy and I hope I've been clear enough for you to understand. This is unscripted, so I'm more awkward than usual. <laughs> Case in point, I don't know why I said that. I should have just cut to the video. All right, I enjoy my screw-ups and the weirdness that is my creative writing skills. <laughs> See, I hate wearing headphones when I'm recording, because it honestly just sounds like I'm talking. It doesn't sound like I'm getting any feedback. I can hear myself breathing, but that's about it. I can hear my chair creaking if I move. Again, that's about it. It sounds like I'm just talking normally. I apologize in advance. I have no clue how this is going to turn out. <coughs> okay. I think I'm good. <coughs> Just got a bucket of water here. <laughs> yeah, I really didn't think this through, especially for when a failed take happens. Okay, throw up scene take two. <laughs> <laughs> Best part is I've completely torn up my throat and now I don't have any water to drink. <laughs> oh, I really didn't think this through. I hate to leave in the middle of a recording when everything's set up and going so well, but I've got to do something with this bucket of water. <laughs> but there's one... But there's one boss in this game that frustrates me to no end. The final boss of Rev... The final boss of... How do you pronounce her name? Re... Reva, because she's dressed like a diva. That's the... That's the... That's the... That's what I'm going with. The final boss of Reva's story... Oh god, why did I even try to pronounce her name? <laughs> Zizu... Oh. Zizu? The final boss of Reva's... The final boss of Reva... The final boss of Reva's... Oh my god. Diva. Reva. The final boss of Reva's story, Zuzu... The final boss of the final boss of Riva story, Zizu. Medal of Honor Frontline is one of the better World War II shooters, in my honest opinion. The environments of each mission are diverse enough to stand out from each other, and the game felt like a decent enough challenge without any BS difficulty spikes. That said, however, the memorability of the earlier levels could be because it's a bare bones retelling of Saving Private Ryan. And some of the game mechanics could be seen as outdated by today's FPS standards. The latter of which is part of what makes the derailed mission a tank-sized pain in the ass. I might have to rewrite... I might have to rewrite that one, actually. That's a bit long-winded. A wise man once said that war isn't hell. War is war, and hell is hell. 
But let me tell you, this is probably the closest thing to hell I've seen. What can I say? I play favorites. <laughs> now I'm just thinking of all the things that, like, I could make my avatar do. Like, hey, wait a second, this isn't a Sora's Wrath. <laughs> Some of you might think that this shouldn't be on the list since it's an optional level, but I'd argue that promising the player of a quote-unquote true ending only to give you more of the same is a pretty big offense. It also doesn't help that if I have to replay this game from a clean save file, then I have to play this mission for completionist reasons. Yes, but if we're using the settlement system, then we need to give the player a reason to build some type of defenses. Shouldn't we focus on fixing the bugs AI first? Are you kidding? This is a Fallout game. They'll think it's part of our charm. Especially once they realize that the bugs are bugged. One thing at a time, everyone. Yes, I am dragging this out. I want you all to suffer with me. Also, David Hayter, how the hell are you able to make noises like that for so long? Uh, so this line here is one that I just flat out didn't record. Um, I figured out about halfway into recording that uh, the scene I envisioned here just was not possible with my current editing skills. And uh, even if even if I did give it a shot, there's still the issue of like you know um, keeping Boomer alive long enough to even attempt this gag. <laughs> so that's uh, that's kind of why I decided not to go through it, and that's why I don't have a alpha scene here, so just wanted to throw that out there. And if for some reason you think playing this level on easy somehow discredits all the things that I've just said, then I challenge you to beat this level on the Admiral difficulty. Son of a bitch, my throat! <laughs>